Hi everybody, Don Balance here with another two minute tutorial, this one featuring NewTek TriCaster with Advanced Edition. Now TriCaster is used heavily in live sports production and one of the elements that we often see in sports production is instant replay and slow motion. Now NewTek does sell 3Play, which is an instant replay server, but you can do a lot of instant replay right from TriCaster with Advanced Edition. So let's take a look at that. Now, I've got three different cameras of synced sports footage coming in here, so three live cameras on this basketball game. And in order to do an instant replay, I have to first be recording. So I'm going to go to the record configuration panel by hitting the little gear next to the record button and set up my recordings. Now, I want to do instant replays on inputs one, two, and three. So I will set up input one, input two, and input three and then the output as well, and I want to record these. Now notice, here's my record button up here, and when I click this to engage its recording, we get a little button that says N1, and then I'll get an N2 button, and an N3 button, and an OUT1 button. So all of these different angles are available for me. These are the different camera angles, one, two, and three, coming in. Now, we have a tab for replay, and this is where we set up our instant replay variables. So, when you do an instant replay, you can send it to either one of the DDRs. We're going to go ahead and send ours to DDR1, and you can choose a default playback speed. I'm going to choose 50% as my playback speed, and a clip duration of 5 seconds. And let's go ahead and close that down. Now, we'll start the recording process. And all of those different angles are now being recorded with the internal ISO quarter. And when I see something like that happen, I can hit N1. And as soon as I hit N1, right down here in DDR1, I can switch to it. And I've got my 50% instant replay. Let me go ahead and put a fade in there. And then it's going to come right back to the live game. And that's autoplay engaging and disengaging there. Now, I can go ahead and delete that out of the DDR, and when I wait for my next play, there it is, and again, I can hit in one and transition to the DDR, and I have a 50% slow-mo replay of that last shot. It's really a very quick and easy way to get a single camera instant replay shot out during your show. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you have any suggestions on other tutorials you'd like to see, please put them in the comments below. And we'll see you again real soon with another two-minute tutorial.